Hello everybody, this is Aquatami and we are back for the final episode of House 22 of the Drifter Challenge. So this is indeed House 22 Part 35 and today is also Willow's birthday. So that will signify the end of this challenge or this house, not the challenge. We've got two more houses to go to finish the challenge. Because we have 24 houses in all. So they're coming down to eat ice cream as one does when one is freaking insane. She needs to take a shower so bad. Look at her hygiene. Look at her hygiene. She's got green fumes trailing behind her. Um, people like you just look around. Oh, whatever. Um, so I don't know when we'll be moving her. Well, I don't know when we'll be aging her up. Probably after school. Um, probably this evening after school. She's eating out of the bowl that's over here. Y'all realize that, right? Oh, my goodness. Game has been a little weird since seasons. But this save game is working pretty good. My 100 baby save game is giving me a pill. But this one is working pretty good. Not had any major snafus. I mean, we're having problems, but not any major sinking issues and that sort of stuff. So not any of the real big game blowing arrows don't make any more ice cream on the one hand it really annoys me that you're making ice cream because first of all there's stuff in the fridge but on the other hand you're old and about to die so if you want ice cream eat make your damn ice cream I don't care what kind of ice cream are we making banana yogurt oh I'm not a fan of banana flavored stuff. I'm just not. I like like banana pudding. Like, if you're not from the South, I don't know if you'll understand what I mean when I say banana pudding. It has like uh, vanilla wafers, slices of banana. It's got a, like a custard sort of and a meringue on top. It's cooked in the oven. It's banana pudding. You gotta be from the area, I think, to understand you know, I, I think it's a regional sort of thing. I don't think everyone makes banana pudding, or at least makes it the way that we make it here in the South. But it's very good, especially warm right out of the oven. I would always, my mom would make it, because it's my dad's favorite dessert, is banana pudding. And my mom used to make it, and she would always tell me as soon as she pulled it out of the oven, I would get the first helping because I only really liked it. I mean, I will eat it cold, but I loved it warm, like right out of the oven. So she would tell me, you know, assuming it's not something we were taking to someone's house, that's different. But if it was just for the family, she would tell me that, you know, it just came out of the oven and I would go and get some. It was so good. So good. And it's not this, it's not the pudding mix kind is not what my mom made. My mom made it the old fashioned way where you cook the, all the different, it's not like the jello pudding mix. No, 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 no. She would never, never. How are you doing this morning? Kids are about to go to school. Your son just went to bed and he's got to go to school. Don't worry, we'll just replace it. We got plenty of money. You do not need to go to work today. It is the last day of the household. You can just call in. Hey, Violet. See, somehow I knew that the family would love this stupid thing that we caught for Christmas. <laughs> But we have to keep it out of the water because you can't put electronics in the rain. They don't work. It doesn't work so well. 
Okay, you can also come out here and do a super cell and then uh, another super cell and then I think that this thing has got where am I getting the bugs from? Spray the area for bugs. Yeah, we got bukus of money. Oh, oh, he maxed his gardening up. skill. Level 10 gardening. He can now purchase rare seeds. <laughs> On our last day in the house, we can now purchase rare, rare seeds. Assuming that it unlocks like it's supposed to. I've been having some issues with that. With the game not unlocking the little seed packs. Which is a downer. But, you know. <laughs> I named this gnome Frederick the Gnome. Well, Frederick Gnome. So I named him. I didn't realize you could name the gnomes. I don't know if that's new or just something I never realized you could do. So I named him Frederick. Isn't he cute? Frederick the gnome. Are you going to go clean the sink or wash hands? He washes his hands a lot. He's got a germ thing going on. He washes it, and then I'll tell him to use the bathroom, and he's going to wash them again. I really have enjoyed this house. It's different. It's something that I had never done before, the detective career. So I really enjoyed working through that. It's not my favorite career in the world. Um, it was a bit of a hassle, but it wasn't actually that hard. Just a little have a hassle every now and then. Mm. It went away. She's going to... Oh, didn't mean to do that. He wants to go hug his wife. Where's she at? Where even is your wife? Oh, there she uh -oh. is. Oh, Here's Natasha. <laughs> Elvis Keith. Yes, we've met Elvis Keith. We need to make a cake. I think that our cake has probably gone bad. I assume it's gone bad. Ham dinner. The ham dinner has disappeared. Yes, our cake has gone bad. So we need to cook. Oh, well, you'll want to eat. Yeah, grab you something and get you something to eat. And then after you eat, we're going to cook a cake for your daughter. Uh, don't know what kind of cake. Just an ordinary Maybe a strawberry cake. I like strawberry cakes for some reason. I actually like the taste of strawberry cakes and I like to make them in this game. But a good strawberry cake, oh man. Yes, if you make them right and put real strawberries in it. Mm, 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 mm. That is good. Some of the older women at work make cakes and bring to different you know get togethers at work and there's one that makes a strawberry cake it is out of this world it is absolutely fantastic it's so moist and just flavorful you know you can't beat a home cooked cake with lots of flavor i mean the ones you buy they're okay but, oh, we need to clean out spoiled food. Um, I think we want to make, yeah, the strawberry cake. Because we can't make the honey cake. I like the honey cake. It's oh. pretty, I think. With the honeycomb pattern and everything. And it's a novelty right now because it's new. Excuse me. I did not mean to yawn at you. I've just been tired today. I stayed up late last night doing something. 
and um, I didn't get as much sleep as I usually do and I suffer from anxiety so I'm supposed to get a good night's sleep because not sleeping makes everything worse but I'm not having any problem with anxiety this morning I'm just tired just tired so there's a lot of stuff I need to get done today that's not I don't think it's gonna get done so apologies if all the episodes don't go up next week I I think y'all won't be fine with it I mean I put up too many damn episodes anyway I put up too many episodes every day and I don't get paid for it I have it's funny that you have to have a certain amount of viewers and a certain amount of views in order to be monetized I have the views to be monetized I just don't have the subscribers like I have hardly well I don't want to say hardly any subscribers I've got a hundred and I'm somewhere near 150 right now I think I'm inching towards 150 subscribers but I have the views to be monetized and I know people who have the thousand subscribers and don't have the views I have the views and don't have the subscribers because I just put up too much stuff and y'all are kind enough to watch I don't know why you do but you know thank you <laughs> thank you uh, on the one hand I don't miss deal the headache with monetization because it used to be a headache having to deal constantly having to deal with stuff being flagged as as you know what is it called where it's they they demonetize it you constantly having to go no this is okay because of whatever but on the other hand it would be nice I never did earn the hundred dollars I had to earn to get any money so I've never made any money off of my videos I was working on the first hundred dollars they don't pay you until you you earn the first hundred dollars and I was working on the first hundred dollars when they changed the rules and I couldn't be monetized anymore which is a crime chain but whatever whatever he is a crazy old man you know that but I love you to death I'm going to miss you because I know he's not long for this uh -huh. sim world and I'm going to miss him. I'm so going to miss him. He's got a couple more days. He's lived 92 days. So he's he's had a good long life. He's done a lot of stuff. I, I hate that he didn't live somewhere where he, we could have storms because you don't really... We didn't really have any storms in Oasis Springs. So I guess that that's something that you just, you don't, you know, we had some rain. We just never had any storm. And of course you didn't have any snow, which is understandable. But I really wanted more storms, but maybe in the next house. Are you seriously going to go slip and slide? Come on, you. I'm going to sell you. Not that we need the money, we just, you know. Here he goes. Doing what old dudes do. And no, I haven't taken down the decorations from yesterday. I'm just going to leave them up. I'm just going to leave the Winterfest decorations up. So I'm not going to take them down. I mean, this house is ending the day after Winterfest. And I, I don't take my decorations down the day after Christmas or anything like that. I will sometimes take them out like New Year's Eve or something like that. Somewhere around New Year's I'll take them down. That's mainly just because I have the free time because I'll be like off work for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day and so a lot of times I have the free time to do it. That's if I put anything up. I have a big artificial tree and I have all the decorations for a big artificial tree 
but it's such a hassle to drag it all out and put it all up and there's just me here in the house so I bought a small tree last year and put up a small tree like an apartment I don't know what they call it it's kind of like an apartment tree it's a small it's a small boy because I like to have a tree are you seriously doing yoga? Girl. Girl. Girl is out here doing yoga. Well, at least I don't have to worry about any mood swings or whatever. He's gone to sleep because he didn't sleep last night. I'm going to go play video games. You better enjoy it while you can. But you're about to have to start over again. No, we won't have any money for Jack. It's a crying shame we couldn't have started the next house before Winterfest. Because then, even if we had no money, we could have got gifts for Winterfest from, from Father Christmas. And we could have sold them and have a really nice, cushy start. But we're starting after Winterfest. Now, our next holiday is New Year's. Which we are not going to do. You know, we're not going to have a TV. And we probably won't have a thousand dollars to go somewhere and watch the TV. So it's probably going to be a complete bust of a holiday. <laughs> so what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> I still got to make <laughs> the Sims. She has Sims in the house with her in the next house. It's like a bunch of sims in the house with her. I've got to make all the sims. I'll get around to it. I don't know if I'll get it done today or not though. But I'll get around to it. And there's your homework. We're going to just go ahead and get rid of the homework. Let's just throw it in there. Yeah, your parents have been all lovey-dovey. Deal with it. Eat some real food, Ooh, would you? Oh, oh, a freaking ice cream huh. kick. Whole family eating nothing but ice cream. Ooh, when are we going to get the notice on her birthday? And now she's put it up. And now she slammed the door because she's tense. From familiar distress. Are you going through on a... Oh, you're going through that stupid mood swing. You're going through the distant phase. Oh. Crying out loud. Oh, she's already got her thing blown. But I haven't got a notification on her. But she's already, like, glowy. I don't want her to age up prematurely. But I swear I haven't got a notice. That it's her birthday. Oh! Celebrate Willow's birthday by throwing a rockin' birthday party. Actually, I have. <laughs> Whoops. I totally missed that. More choices. Birthday cake. Yep, get your fun up. Get your food up. Get your whatever up. She's going to be so tired. I did not look forward to starting the next house because seasons. <laughs> because, you know, usually you can go and you can, you can just forage all around where you're moving. And you have a certain amount of money to start off with. But you're not going to be able to forage all the plants. Because seasons. You'll only be able to forage the winter plants. So I don't think we'll be able to start off with as much money as we usually start off with. And so, yeah. I think it might be harder. I know it might be harder. And we've got to start off with like six sims. Six sims on like no money at all. I mean, if we ever get the sims making money, i got to go back and read the rules and see what each sim has to do. 
because I just remember that there's a bunch of aspirations to complete. She's got to complete her aspiration of serial romantic. And then there's going to be five other sims that have to complete aspirations. Chima Numa. Wubba wubba wubba. Pinboy Shapua? Yanawa? Uh huh. Durfna Volcana. Oh, it's a vote. Oh, and we're starting in Willow Creek. Oh, don't leave that there. Where even did you put it? There it is. Alright. I think this is good as time as any. Because I could let her stay later, but It doesn't matter if I let her stay later. We'll be starting in the middle of the night, which I hate doing. And if we go now, she's going to be, you know. <sighs> Let's just do this. Let's just do this. i got to get my randomizer out, too. Or I could just give her an aspiration, but... She already has two useless traits. We might as well give her a third. What are your traits? It's something like cat lover and... What's your other trait? I don't remember. I know it's cat lover. That's going to get us nowhere. Oh, a vegetarian. That's alright, but... It's cat lover. We're not going to have room for a cat. Well, we could get a cat. But then we'd only have one spot for a child. Cheerful. Well, that's not bad. She can be cheerful. That's probably what I would have given her if I gave her something anyway. Okay. Let's change your outfits. You're about to go. Look, look at the outfits she has. She's about to go into the winter. Like, seriously, into winter. In Oasis Springs. But she is very pretty sim. Very pretty sim. And I think we're going to have lots of fun together in the next household. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And I hope you have enjoyed this house. And I will see you shortly in the next house. So long for now, everyone.